Hey, how's it going today? And we're going to be looking at the typing effect in Vegas Pro today. This is an effect that makes it look like text is being typed out in real time. And what's cool is this effect can be done with Vegas as it comes. There's no additional special plugins uh, involved or anything like that. You might see this like in detective shows or crime shows or something where they're showing a location and then it looks like it's being typed out on the screen. I'm sure you can use it for other things. What I have right now is I just got this picture of the Pentagon here and I've, I've actually gone into pan and crop and cropped in a little bit on it. And then I've added a black and white and I've added some color curves just to give it some contrast. So that's my background image. And then I'm going to come into media generators and go to prototype titler and drag that down on the timeline and I'll just put my cursor there so we can kind of see what's going on. Now uh, to get started with this all I have to do is just double click in this box here and the text pops up. Now the trick here is to just start typing in your text and all your text must be highlighted. So as soon as you're in text edit mode and it's highlighted just start typing what you want to type. So I'm going to type in Pentagon enter Washington comma D C, oops, DC, and then we'll give it some kind of military time, like 22, 30 hours or something like that. Now you'll notice after I'm done typing that the highlighting is gone. So if I want to make more changes, I've got to re-highlight this text. Now this font, Arial, is probably not the one we want for that kind of typing effect, so we might want to change that to Courier. Once we change it to Courier, we might also want to change the font weight to something like extra heavy just to give it kind of a, a stronger appearance on the screen. And then the other thing, I think that's all I want to do for the text. If I want to change the size, because it usually is not so big, maybe I can adjust the font size here and bring it down. It's more like in the lower thirds where this kind of thing occurs. And then once I'm done, all I have to do is hit escape and then I've got my text. Now, the only other thing I notice is that this is kind of washed out against this background here. So I, I'll probably want to move this to the darker spot on the screen. So I'll move it like over there. But it still looks a little washed out. So what I can do is just drop the opacity of the background image. Maybe make it look more like dark nighttime or something like that. I could also add some drop shadow in there if I wanted to. But this is white against kind of a grayish background. But if I come over here to layout, I'm looking for, what am I looking for? Oh, here's where you could add a drop shadow if you wanted to add drop shadow to your effect as well. And you would just click here to add however much. So let's, uh, let me just do something real fast. Let's put the, push the opacity back and let's see how much I can see the drop shadow in there, but I don't know that it's gonna be enough to darken it up. So it looks like I would just go ahead and drop the opacity on this so I could see it a little bit better. Okay, but you can play around with all that. The only thing I'm looking for is there is a way to adjust the, uh, it should be under layout here, line spacing. This is what we're looking for. So you gotta click here and then just here, if you go line spacing, you can move all this lettering a little bit closer together like that. Okay, just to get the font the way that you want it like that. Okay, now once that's done, we can just come in here into, we go into layout here, and we're gonna click here on selection, and then all we have to do to create the type in effect is just click and drag right here and take that all the way, drag it all the way to the end, and turn off fade selection, as well you might wanna highlight that, turn off fade selection. Figure out how long do you want that to type out, maybe about, not pretty quickly, right, so about maybe three seconds, so you just drag this on the timeline to about three seconds, and then we just pull this back. You click and you drag this to the end, and you can see it being revealed. And believe it or not, that's the whole effect right there. So if I hit play, you, and then you probably wanna add the, um, you know, that typewriting sound, you could add that to also get the t -t 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 typing effect. And then you've got your whole scene there. And it's basically that simple to do. If you just wanted to see the effect without any background, you could just move that out of there. But um, it's the same kind of thing. And so it's a really cool effect and it comes built into Vegas Pro. So I hope you found this helpful. It's just a kind of a quick little typing effect that I think is a lot of fun. So take care and have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.